I'm Rich Harvey, buyer's agent and CEO of Property Buyer. If you're wondering why it's hard to find a good property to buy at the moment, then you're not alone. Lots of other buyers are struggling to find the one. There's two key stats that provide tremendous insight into the health of the property market. And these are the value and the volume of property transactions. Firstly, let's look at property values. National house prices declined 0.7% in June, but the media sensationalised this into headlines saying that prices had tumbled or crashed. I often hear people saying that they're doing their research, and then I ask them, where did you get your research? And they simply say, from the media. Well, we all know there's perception and there's reality. The perception is that the property market is weak and about to crash when JobKeeper payments finish and the recession really bites. But the reality is that property prices have only dropped marginally from their peak and we're currently experiencing a mild correction. June prices declined 0.8% in Sydney and 1.1% in Melbourne. However, both cities are still showing a 12-month positive gain of 13% and 10% respectively over the entire year. The Reserve Bank believes the Australian economy will emerge better than expected and is on course for somewhere between the best case scenario and the central case scenario, which means a softer recession and an earlier return to economic growth. So secondly, let's look at listing volumes. Well, the COVID-19 crisis has been really impacting consumer confidence, but it's recovered to around 5% off its pre-COVID levels. Many vendors and buyers are still in watch and wait mode of thinking. New listings are just starting to trend upward but the volume of new listings is still down around 40% compared to three years ago. And comparing it to the same time last year, total listings are down 21% in Melbourne and 23% lower in Sydney. So even with the trend of new listings rising, total listings are being absorbed faster than they're coming onto the market, which shows there's a really strong underlying buyer demand. So what lies ahead? Well, buyers need to take a much longer term view of the market than the past three months and understand that market forces will eventually play out despite the negative perceptions in the media. There's still some real economic headwinds from the current recession, but the underlying strength of property demand, the strong stimulus package and the earlier than expected return of, to work will mean that the property market resumes its property cycle once again. The whole economy doesn't hinge on when JobKeeper finishes. I think there'll be a surge in buyers coming out of the woodwork in September looking for property. But it's during these times of uncertainty that buyers have the best chance of buying slightly below long-term market value and getting a better deal with less competition. So don't feel you've got to struggle to buy alone. Please reach out to our friendly team of professional buyers agents who can lend a helping hand. I'm Rich Harvey, thanks for watching.